Linda Lavin already has a steady job on her own weekly series, of course. But as Catherine Mann found out, the feisty actress is also getting set to take on several other very demanding roles. I'd rather have you standing just talking to Alan. I mean, this is not a graduation. Oh, no, Linda, stand <laughs> Linda Lavin, the star of Alice, can often be found at celebrity tennis matches, playing the game she jokes she took up late in life. And although she enjoys tennis doubles, it's the single role she's been playing both on and off the screen since her divorce from actor Ron Liebman. Now she's met actor Kip Nevin, her biggest fan, whom she'll marry later this month. Do we have any honeymoon plans? No, she no, has to get you back have to any? work. No. <laughs> In Far Shore, a CBS TV film to air this fall, Linda's life takes on a dramatic twist when the child from an affair her husband had years before they met moves in with them. The child's real mother has died. Ironically, the film's theme parallels Linda's own life as she will inherit the two children of husband-to-be Kip, a widower. But had I not had this parallel experience, and I'm sure that my experience as an actress in this film is enriched certainly by my own personal experience I still would have been very moved by what this story is about because it's a because it's such a wonderfully written script and because it tells the story so truthfully I, I believe it's truthful many people in uh, in our society are step parents so it's a very uh, although this is the first time this story has been done on television as a film it's a, a viable and exciting and vital uh, and relevant uh, story. There's a new girl in town, cause I'm Actress-director Linda will begin this season with a short honeymoon. But as an instant mom, she believes that will be her toughest role yet. Your own script hasn't been written yet. Is that something that you ever thought might happen to Linda Lavin? No, no, I, I don't think it's... It's anything that anybody ever thinks is going to happen. I've always wanted a family, and so I've been graced easily uh, by the, uh, the uh, in appearance of and the inclusion of these, these two wonderful children who are in my life now. But it takes hard work. And everybody's expected to have a wonderful time and be, you know, Ozzie and Harriet and the Nelson family. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like the Brady Bunch. It doesn't work like Eight is Enough, which I think, by the way, that may not be fair because Eight is Enough, I think, deals really seriously. But it's not a comedy. It's not a sitcom. It's real hard work for everybody, for the children. It's very difficult. Yes, yes. I'm here. Shh, 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 I'm here. It's a dream. It's a dream. Yes. Yes. Did you ever think that you would marry again? Uh, yes. You knew that? Well, I hoped I would. I mean, I don't have any uh, special gift in terms of the future and seeing into it. But yes, I was hopeful that I would marry again. <laughs>